Hello everyone, welcome to the Digital System Architecture Practical Series. In today's session, we'll study about the counter implementation. So, let us start with mod 3 counter. So, what is the meaning of mod 3? Mod 3 is a counter which counts up to 3. Like uh, if we have a 2 bit number, so 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, these are the only 3 counts it can go and uh, it will reset again. You see the working now. So, this is the logic diagram we require to construct a mod 3 counter as we can as you can see there are two jk flip-flops so this is how we construct the jk flip-flops uh, we construct the counter using jk flip-flop so first of all vcc is connected to both the k inputs and then uh, here because we have preset and clear and they are active low so we need to make them uh, we directly connect them to vcc for the proper functioning so both the preset and clear of both the flip-flops are connected to vcc then clock is simultaneously applied to both the flip flops and then one more thing is the cube one bar that is the output of the second the the complemented output of the second is connected to j of the first one and here we have the output q0 and q1 these are the two outputs we will analyze them then uh, this uh, let us see the working so because this the first input the k input is connected to vcc so it is logically one similarly this is also logically one of the second flip-flop so because of this one okay and here uh, we assume that we are having zero output at q1 and also at q0 so both are zero zero are starting with some out uh, some output and uh, because the q1 is zero so q1 bar will be of course one now this q1 bar is feedback to the first j so we have one here now when the clock appears first so because uh, the previous output was of the first flip flop the leftmost flip flop the left flip flop is zero so this input one one will make it toggle so output now will become one so it changes to one from zero now in the next state this one one input to the second flip flop okay so this will convert this output as one zero and then this is the state we have now this zero is feedback to the previous flip-flop so this becomes zero when the next clock appears so zero one is zero one okay so this input becomes zero okay and then this zero one to the next flip-flop it makes it as zero one so this is how it works okay and uh, here we have the truth table so for uh, every clock as we can see the count changes first the the q1 q0 is 0 0 then 0 1 then 1 0 so these are the three counts so if we convert in decimal we have 0 1 2 and then the count finally resets to 0 0 so this is the truth table and if we see the waveform this is the waveform if we capture on oscilloscope we have this particular waveform so as we can see 0 0 then 0 1 1 0 and this is the reset again 0 0 0 1 1 0 this will continue until we uh, stop the working so this is called as mod 3 because it counts up to 3 so next is mod 6 so we have just made one change that is we have just introduced this leftmost the third flip flop and rest everything is same so what we do this part the, the last two flip flops are same only at the left point we introduce one more flip flop which is working in the toggling mode okay it just gives 0 1 0 1 with respect to the clock so what we, uh, we have this is mod 2 this is mod 3 so 3 to the 6 so this is what this becomes mod 6 counter so it will count up to 6 so this is the truth table so the first count is 0 0 0 then next is 0 0 1 then 0 1 0 0 double 1 1 double 0 1 0 1 is the last count and then it resets to 0 0 0 so the count is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 0 to 5 there are 6 counts now this is the waveform of mod 6 counter so we start with the 0 0 0 count then we have 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 and finally 1 0 1 this will continue until we just don't stop the flip that particular counter so this is what we get in mod 6 counter now let us do the simulation part using the simul id software so we are into simul id software let us select the component the very first component we require is the jk flip flop so we go in logic okay in logic we have gates option 
arithmetic and we have the memory option so in memory we have this flip-flop jk so we'll just take this jk flip-flop we'll grab one more i'll just take one more here and then we require the input power supply for which we they have this uh fixed voltage supply keep it here okay. and then uh, we need a clock so here we have the clock then uh, we need a probe just keep the probe here two probes okay so we are done now let us do the connection so first we connect this power supply the, the vcc to the k input of each jk flip flop this is the first step we do then the second step is this set and reset part we need to connect it to vcc that is power supply otherwise it won't function properly so just do this connection you can even connect it here itself so because this line is vcc already and just connect it here then this part now uh, this clock is connected to this okay and also the this both both the clocks inputs are directly connected to the clock then this output is connected to the j part and this part as we can see in the diagram it goes to j and then we connect this to this is one of the output this is another output so the connection is done now uh, just turn it the clock on now before turning on the clock please ensure that the frequency is uh, around uh, 5 hertz so that uh, the blinking of this probe is easily visible by default it is 1000 hertz we won't be able to see the outputs in this case if the frequency is 1000 hertz so now let us turn it on okay. so now uh, I'll just start the simulation okay as you can see this is what we are getting this is the output now as we can see this one is more frequently turning on and off as compared to this one now here we cannot see the waveform either you can stop here or if you want to see the waveform we'll just stop the simulation now in order to observe the waveform we select the oscilloscope this is the oscilloscope it is an OSCOP so there are four channels so we use this first channel to get the output of the first flip flop that is the first of the part one of the count another digit and the third i am not taking the second i am taking the third one third channel to connect it to the second flip flop so now let us start the clock start the vcc power supply and turn on the simulation so this is what we will get okay you can just expand it after expansion we get this waveform so first of all uh, just click here for some triggering okay so I'll just click on channel 1 and then channel 1 this volt is 1 volt per division I just can see 2 volt per division okay and click on channel 3 okay because I was we have connected channel 3 here and this also I'll make it as 2 volt per division and I'll just change this position so that these two waves are distinguish they are actually superimposed so this is what we are getting you can just trigger it so okay so this is the output we will be getting okay as you can see this the upper yellow wave is the first digit and this is the second digit output of the first field of the second flip flop okay so i'll just increase this time position okay let it be we can just we, we take out this so uh, here what we observe is this is 0 0 then 0 1 1 0 and again 0 0 so this is the output what we were expecting so it is counting from 0 0 as you can see if we start from this point so this is 0 this is 0 then 0 1 then 1 0 and then we observe again it will be it will become uh, 0 0 so this is you can see this this, this is repeating again 0 0 0 1 1 0 then 0 0 so this is how we get the output for the mod 3 now let us go for the mod 6 counter now to save time i have already constructed this flip this mod 6 so this part is almost same only that i have included one more flip flop here and put it in a toggle mode applied the clock to this and the output of this flip flop becomes the clock of the other two so let us uh, this is this is the uh, oscilloscope i need three channels i just collect the first connect the first channel to the first flip flop output of the first flip flop 
the second channel to the sec uh, output of second flip flop and the third one to the output of the third flip flop so this we are done so let us now turn on the clock turn on the power supply turn on the simulation so we will get we will be getting this i'll just expand this okay come to channel 1 i'll make this as 2 volt per division for channel 2 also 2 volt per division and for channel 3 also 2 volt per division now i'll just come to channel 1 and uh, the position i will make it i will to take it up just i'll just put it up then channel 2 uh, it's okay channel 2 let it be i'll come to channel 3 i'll just pull it down this is channel 3 let us come back to channel 3 it is still uh, interfering with that particular signal sorry sir we need to make it 2 right so this is 2 we need to change the position just to this position so this is uh, what we are getting if we are satisfied with this actually uh, if I try to stop it if it works let's see okay it stopped so this is this is the input this is the output of the first wave flop the second one and the third one so it start with count zero 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 then zero zero one you can just observe this what uh, whatever we are, get, we, we are getting what we are expecting so this is how this particular flip flop works okay i think uh, this the third one was uh, okay so this channel 3 okay this channel 3 okay so this is the output we will be getting this is the waveform okay so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching